Okay, we're going to talk about what makes a good lover. Us women that are over 50 or over 60, we know what makes a good lover. Because when you're young, you know, you, you don't know what's out there if you've only been with a couple people. But us older women, we know what we like and we've been around the block a little bit, you know. So, the first thing you can do to be a good lover is to be clean. I mean impeccably clean. Uh, yes, I am driving. Uh, you must have, like, extraordinary uh, cleanliness. Second thing is, in order to, to make love to the woman in your life, you must totally give yourself to her. That means don't have any interruptions, don't have the, the TV on, don't have the phone anywhere around you. If you can, turn it off. Um, in the atmosphere, women like really get turned on with hotels. You know why? Because there's no children there. You don't have any interruptions. You don't have the dog or the cat jumping on the bed. So get a hotel. Uh, my ex and I, we did that once a month for like 40 years. We always got a hotel. Uh, it gets very romantic there because you've got your room service, you got clean sheets. So do that and a little alcohol. Women are like a little bit uptight and nervous just about the fact of just taking their clothes off. Uh, if you got a couple drinks in you, you're going to have a little bit better time. But if you go over that, you're going to end up with a sloppy drunk. So don't, don't get her sloshed, right? That's not good. Because then you're going to be cleaning up throw up, I guess. So the other thing is this. You've got to start off slow. How many of you all have come up behind the woman in your life and, and hugged her while she was cooking your dinner? How many of you guys have just nibbled on her earlobe or, or caressed this part of her neck? Those are the things that you should start off every day with. And really, you should make love to the woman in your life all day long by sending them suggestive texts, by um, being maybe a little bit funny, a little bit sexy. Send her texts of like what you're gonna do to her. This, the anticipation is what turns women on. Yes, because we do also have a imagination just like you guys. And if you haven't done it, ask your girl if she likes to watch porn because sometimes that can really trigger a really good night of love making so yeah you could do that ask her what does she want does she want wine or does she want beer what does she want a candle you know doesn't hurt to, to buy a little bouquet of flowers either and um always always listen to her if a woman is opening up to you about what turns her on in bed honey you better listen most women do not tell you this stuff and you should really listen and if you don't get it right the first time keep practicing because practice makes perfect uh, yes and sometimes you may not find that magic spot but keep searching for it that's all I gotta say keep searching for it um, and if your girlfriend is her eyeballs are not rolling back like a cash register or a slot machine. If she's not screaming out obscenities, honey, you're not doing it right. You are not the lover you think you are. Yeah, that's how you know. A lot of women have never had the big O. They don't even know. They think they have. But uh, if her toes are not curling... 
and she's not shouting obscenities, she's going to find a lover that will do that. Okay. All right. Bye.